active ecological reinvention of our world. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 113. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our weekly progress update number 113, May 3rd, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week with video and pictures. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, resources, everything else that we're creating, you can visit our written blog. Last but not least, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the next 25% of the written section and images for the Nature Lesson Plan to the website, which includes the Health, Math, and Science sections. That brings this page to 75% complete. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of our lesson plan with the central theme of communication. These theme-based lesson plans teach all subjects to all learning levels using the central themes. Here you can also see the behind-the-scenes work we did on the comprehensive evaluation, assessment, and mutual feedback model we are developing for students and their teachers. This week's focus was on the preliminary outline of the components needed for immediate and periodic assessment. Paige Allison Donatelli, graphic designer and owner-operator of Namaste Living in a Material World, finished another 25% of the image creation for the open source lesson plan mind map, which you can see here. This brings this mind map to 75% complete. Paige also helped us create this new image for the signs and symbols lesson plan, which we featured this week across our social media channels. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source alliums hub. And we did this for our food forest edge plantings hub too. We also researched and added additional recipes to the open source peas hub, which you can see here, and more recipes from our food self-sufficiency transition plan that features peas will be added here in the future. Behind the scenes, Benjamin Sessions is working on creating a month-long buying list for recipes for the omnivore section of our food self-sufficiency transition plan. We also added two additional recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB? And we added these to the food self-sufficiency transition plan, and the two new recipes are the blueberry coconut smoothie and hemp oatmeal with strawberry puree and pistachios. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. 
This week, the core team working on high good housing. Continued progress on the assembly specifics for the open source Murphy bed furniture. This work is happening behind the scenes, and what you see here will be part of the Earthbag Village and the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week, we finished the tutorial step 6.8, cutting lumber and labeling pieces for the bed box. We're now 77% done with complete assembly instructions. Behind the scenes, we also finished the first 5% of the open source camp setup specifics for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign, too. Beatrice Roca, mechanical engineering student, finished these first generation AutoCAD drafts of the net zero water use bathrooms. Sheng Su, mechanical design engineer, also finished his sixth round of SolidWorks design specifics for the three dome cluster of the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This work included exploring additional roof designs and functionally artistic roof accents. Pink lines show the final design we are shooting for. Nellie Leventhal, graphic designer and college professor, also created this internal render for what one of the rooms in the Earthship Village Pod 6 will look like. She also created these initial concept designs for the compressed earth block village pod 4. Pyramid will function as a greenhouse on top and shared social and dining space below. Housing would be stacked like you see here, and the housing and social space would be combined something like this. Erika Yumi Tamashiro, architecture and urban design student working in collaboration with design team members from Team Brazil, also created these first design layouts for the Earthship Village Pod 6. This shows the initial overview, side view, regular units, and ADA units. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Ricardo Carrillo, senior engineer and principal of Acumen Industries, continued working on the structural engineering specifics for the Duplicable City Center Cupola. You can see these details and plans taking shape here in 3D. Mike Balbino, architecture and urban design student, also completed a thorough review of this structure in AutoCAD to find errors, improve materials efficiency, and make it easier to build. What you see here are Mike's extensive notes and improvement suggestions. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Vasily Bisarov, writer, poet, and translator, finished translation of the highest good for all page from English into Italian. You can see the new Italian version of the For the Highest Good of All page here. And if you'd like to do something fun, visit this page with Google and translate it from Italian into English and then compare to the actual English version. You see very quickly why it's important to have somebody who speaks Italian actually translating these pages rather than just allowing Google to do this. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. One community is purpose for the active ecological reinvention of our world. We are doing this through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints for the highest good of all. Our open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources cover food, energy, housing, which are the physical representations of sustainability, as well as the emotional aspects of sustainability as well, which we consider to be uh, highest good for-profit and non-profit business creation, fulfilled living models, education models, as well as true earth stewardship. We're putting these two things together as an evolution of sustainability, and we are then open sourcing and free sharing all of the specifics with the consciousness for the highest good of all. We're bringing together the people that have the mindset to make a difference in the world, to transform the world for the benefit of all people and all life here, with the idea that by taking an active ecological reinvention approach, we can create a world that truly works for everybody. The foundations of open sourcing, food, energy, housing, for-profit, non-profit, business creation, uh, highest good education, true earth stewardship, fulfilled living models, all of these things put together are designed to be implemented as either individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration hub 
either a village, a community, or eventually complete sustainable cities that will teach others how to build ecological models too. Self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and ultimately self-replicating. Because we know that if we can make it easy enough, if we can demonstrate as affordable enough, and if we can demonstrate as attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own. So this is what we're doing. We're here to make it easy, affordable, and demonstrate as attractive, to build the first prototype so that people that are interested in what it is that we're, we're creating can come and experience it as an ecotourism destination. If they like what they experience, if they want to live the way that we're demonstrating, then they will be able to duplicate it as well because we're making it easy and affordable. And by doing this, the model will spread around the world and teach others how to build similar models that will also teach others how to build similar models. And so the self-replicating idea will create this complete ecological reinvention of our world to a planet that works for everyone. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, we have lots of opportunities to participate, ranging from the people that will move to the property and build one community, which are the pioneer team, to satellite members that are people that participate in all of our details behind the scenes, our weekly calls, our decision-making process, etc., to partners and consultants, the people that are helping behind the scenes, donating their time to keep everything moving forward, but uh, are not part of our weekly calls. Instead, we have project teams, etc. So uh, get involved in a way that works for you. Or you can help us by sharing our information on social media. We are on all the different social media groups. We are on and networks. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Tumblr. We are on Facebook. We are on Sue. We are on Reddit. We are on Pinterest and about 15 other social media networks because everything that we do is open source and free shared. And so we want it to be available to as many people as possible and as many options as possible so people can share in the way that works best for them. Of course, the number one thing that can help us right now is One Community is an all nonprofit, all unpaid volunteer staff, but we are still seeking funding for the property. We've been working with the same location, which was chosen to share One Community with hundreds of thousands of people. It's got a location that is convenient for people visiting, close to an international airport, it has the beauty that we can invite people to visit before we've built out even the complete first village model, and we're still seeking the funding to be able to buy that property. So if this idea of active ecological reinvention of our world is something that you would like to participate in from a financial perspective, we are seeking the individual or groups or group that would be interested in donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or investing in one community to help us get that property off the market, at which point we can disclose the location, which will help us build our team even faster, which will help us complete our open source blueprints even faster, which will allow us to get people on the ground and to start surveying and open sourcing the specifics of adapting our models, which are designed for uh, maximum adaptation to any environment. But then there's the specifics that'll have to be in, adapted to all kinds of different environments, and we're gonna open source and free share that as well. So this is what we're creating. This is how we're doing it. If, if what we're doing is inspirational to you or exciting to you, please share our information. And as always, thank you for following our progress. Thank you for all the emails that we get. Thank you for the small donations that we get. They help us continue to keep one community running and operating. So like I said, we're on all unpaid staff. And so those small donations help cover our web fees and the basic expenses of running a global nonprofit organization like ours. And um, of course, thank you for watching our updates. If you, uh, if, you like, uh, if you like to receive an email every time one of these comes out, you're not already on our email list, just send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will definitely add you. So, of course, till next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.